Legends, <laughs> thanks for tuning into this video. Today I'm showing you a little bit of a hybrid again. Um, surprise, surprise, this is a gunslinger bolt. <laughs> uh, gunslinger bolt. Uh, let me just go through the pieces before I show you uh, the stats here. Um, you could see the gameplay, how it works, um, but I just want to show you the rest of it. Um, so you might notice here is the artificer. The pieces might be a little bit um, unexpected, uh, but this is the artificer. Um, so what the artificer does basically, it just buffs or whatever skill you're using. Um, so most of the time, I would only use this artificer hive with um, with a shield, um, but I decided to use it with uh, with a turret this time. So it doesn't matter what turret you're using, the assault turret like I'm using here or the sniper. It, it will do exactly the same thing. The artifice you only get with the technician specialization. Um, so I'll, I'll show you exactly how that works. So basically what it does, it does this. Let's uh, I dump my turret here. You can see that purple thing, the old, that purple shade is getting. So basically it's buffing. Uh, my turret is being buffed the whole time. So you can see the, 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 it will be do about damage there. It's just uh, buffing it the whole time. It will stay up. It will jump from 70,000 damage to 91,000 damage. So basically that's that's what it does. So it gives me extra extra 20, 21,000 damage just by, by sitting there. You can see the damage on the turret is 70,000. You can see once the buff um, from the artificer does its thing, it jumps to 91,000 per bullet. Um, so that's basically why I'm using the artificer there, just to keep my turret up for as long as possible. It refreshes the duration, it gives it more health, etc. It gives it more damage. That's basically what, what the artificer here is for. So the longer I keep that up, I can maybe, uh, maybe the turret can kill a red or purple NPC for me, um, basically. Um, so I'm using the um, the memento here. The only reason I'm using the memento, this is not a running a running gun build, not a face tank build, not a shield build, like I said. Um, so it's be it's because it has uh, um, all three core attributes: it has weapon damage, armor, and it's a free skill tier. And I put six percent crit chance in there because I'm aiming for for forty percent crit chance. It's not a, it's not actually a crit build, so I'm aiming for forty percent crit chance. That's why I'm using a six percent crit chance mod there, and not twelve percent damage um, the critical damage mod. So like we all know what the memento does, gives you weapon damage, armor, skill efficiency. If you pick up the trophies of NPC you kill, you just get more and more and more. So that's why that's probably best installed, best installed at the moment. Uh, I've explained to you the artificer, I showed you the turret. Um, I'm using the fox spray knee pads here for damage to target out of cover, that's the main reason. Not only because I'm using, a, I'm actually using a rifle, that also helps with the 10% rifle damage you get from Overload on uh, the Brancy bonus. 15% weapon damage, 12% critical damage I rolled on there. So you might be thinking why don't I run two Empress pieces here? Uh, it's because whether I run two Empress or two Anna U or it doesn't really matter the way I have it, I'll still only get 10% skill damage um, if you look at the brand set uh, bonuses. So the um, I'm using an Empress here, basically it also gives me a little bit of more health on my turret, which, is, which I don't really need. It gives my artificer more health, which I don't really need, the NPCs won't damage it. Um, but I have a 12% quit damage there which I rolled, it came with 17.1 repeat skills so the more repair skills you have the the better the buff will be that you get from the artificer to the turret um they have a critical damage mod and there's the gunslinger that's the, that's we some of my weapon damage where a lot of my weapon damage comes from so every time you swap weapons you get a total damage increase of 20 percent for five seconds so you just swap your weapons every five seconds and then you get 20 percent damage so really easy to use nothing fancy about that uh woven i've um, I picked up a woven with 12% critical damage that's rolled on there and I, I could roll 6% crit chance on there and 12% critical damage so I was going for crit chance crit damage on the skill pieces here as you can see there's my grupo why I'm using it is for 15% critical damage there 14.5 weapon damage 6% crit chance 11.8 critical damage I can make it 12% but for me the the the, the points I'm gonna be, use, be using for the optimizing that 11.8 is not be worth that 0 0.2 percent really um, for me personally uh, why I have the Alps uh, glove here for 20 percent repair skills even though I'm not running directly a yield is so that I can uh, I get the 20 percent extra repair from the artificer to my turret so that's why I'm using that um, I don't need to use it but I thought okay why the heck not <laughs> I'll try to be a little bit different here critical damage on the and there's crit chance as well 
So if you don't mind that, you can even swap out the artificer for something else. The weapons also here don't matter. I'm using the Scorpio. We all know what the Scorpio is, but it does. As you shoot the NPC, you get your um, septic shock. So on one hit, three hits, six hits, and seven hits. Um, seven hits is the one you're going for. So how to time this perfectly is actually to <coughs> to hit the NPC with your seven to hit him seven times. So they can even take 20% extra damage from all sources. Um, whether it's from a turret, whether it's from a gun, from wherever, from your teammates that's actually what you're going for is first you weaken the npc with uh, you put them on their knees first with a scorpio and then you hit them with uh with your other gun whatever the case may be so i'm using a m m1a cqb um and not the m1a uh you can actually i was using the m1a with boomerang on it but i decided to because uh to use this one because i have one that had max rifle damage max crit damage it has damage to armor on it um this one had boomerang on it but i decided to roll in sync on it because i'm already using a turret um so i can get a lot more out of it um with in sync on this ball than on boomerang um the optimus here i could actually i could benefit by using a a pistol with with perf with in sync on it but i'm too lazy to farm that so i'll just use the same pistol that you find in most in probably like 80 percent of my balls using exactly the same pistol so like i said any two weapons you can use doesn't really matter some of these pieces you can swap out i mean you can depending on how much skill tier you want um, but now i'll just show you when i dump how it actually works how well it actually works. So I'm using the Scorpio first. Okay, I'm gonna pretend this is the boss I'm trying to kill. So first you want to weaken them. I thought they're shocking. Then you swap to your to your M1A. That's that's basically how it works. There's my in sync, all my buffs are going, there's my gunslinger, my reload, I lost some pellets there. Basically weaken. Uh, they are lost a bit on the reload. <laughs> so you would just time your reloads. You can it it will work a lot better than what I'm showing you here. So that's basically how it how it works. There's all my sync buffs. Everything just going crazy. Buffs buffs everywhere. But that's basically how it works. Weaken them. Finish them off with the M1A. That's the principle of it, and the artificer doing his thing the whole time. But yeah guys, this, this is another team that be doing something a little bit different. I mean, normally um, you would probably expect it, um, glass cannon or um, kinetic momentum or spark, perfect spark. But I decided to try skill, a little bit of skill and a little bit of crit damage with a gunslinger. Uh, I'll show you the weapon sets. Let me just go through it. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, I was, I was aiming for 40% for crit chance because it's not actually a crit bolt. So the Scorpio have 44% crit chance and 152 crit damage. I know to some people this is very important. Um, and M1 AD is 49% crit chance and 160 crit, crit damage. Um, it works for me, it might work for you. Um, you can use any other weapons, like I said, it doesn't really matter. Any other skills doesn't matter. But just, the, just, just try a gunslinger out uh, with uh, some of your skill pieces here and let me know how you get on. I'll catch you guys in the next time and thank you for watching.